the Swedish RBS-56 Bill flies just over the top of its target, and its shaped charge fires diagonally downwards. Bill weighs 23.6 pounds and is another line of sight weapon. The result of a hit on a tank carrying ordnance can be horrifying. an effective air defense umbrella or face defeat. This was the hard lesson learned by the Iraqis in the Persian Gulf War. The British company specializing in infantry anti-aircraft missiles is Shorts Limited, whose weapons have a lot of combat experience. One of those anti-aircraft weapons is the Javelin, another semi-automatic line of sight weapon. The operator holds the bright aiming mark on the target while a television camera in the aiming unit senses bright flares on the missile generating corrective signals. Missile tubes can be loaded, fired, and reloaded in seconds. Javelin missiles are brought up in an armored personnel carrier. One model uses a lightweight multiple launcher, which can fire three rounds in rapid succession. Here, the lone target is a hostile helicopter. The gunner catches it in his magnifying sight and puts the aiming pipper squarely on target using his thumb control to keep the chopper centered until it's destroyed. As this animated sequence shows, the missile begins spinning for flight stability as soon as it leaves the tube and the fin tips snap open. In slow motion, the firing sequence starts when gas pressure generated by the rocket-driven gyro blows the cap off the end of the tube. Then the rear closure is blown off by the launch of the missile. The rapid burn first stage motor propels the missile from its tube. At a safe distance from the launcher, the cruise motor fires. This takes the missile to its target at supersonic speed, out to distances exceeding two and a half miles. Any airborne assault force, such as these soldiers being air-landed from Puma helicopters, must have air defense capabilities. Few systems are as light and compact as the Javelin, which in its shoulder-fired version weighs only about 22 pounds. Javelin, heavy firepower in a small package, is battle-proven. Even so, Shorts, the manufacturer, is now producing an even more advanced model with greater capabilities. This is just one of many versions of the British Rapier anti-aircraft missile system in service around the world. The tracked vehicle is on the move with eight missiles ready to fire from its M548 armored launcher.
Rapier weighs 94 pounds and flies at Mach 2, engaging targets up to four miles away. A deadly feature of the missile is that it is so accurate that the warhead first pierces the target, then explodes inside the enemy aircraft. In one version, the operator wears a Ferranti helmet-mounted sight. This is directed by the gunner's own line of sight. Once a target is spotted, it can be designated by pressing a button. A servo system instantly slews and elevates the eight missiles to point at the target. Some versions of Rapier use command guidance to the line of sight, while other versions upgrade the basic system with radars, laser, and thermal infrared systems to give instant engagement, even at night or in bad weather. The latest version is Rapier 2000, now under development and expected to enter service in the mid-1990s. Much older and less effective than Rapier is the U.S. Army's equivalent called Chaparral. This is based on the Navy's AIM-9D Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, which can be modified for use from M730 land launchers. missiles are carried on the rotating turret towed behind a cross-country vehicle. The much lighter M54 ground version can be airlifted by a Chinook helicopter. Normally, the operator has to detect targets, slew and elevate the missiles, and ensure that the homing warhead is locked on target before firing. Thereafter, the infrared homing head in the nose of the missile steers it automatically to its target. A forward-looking infrared thermal imaging device can be added to improve performance for night or bad weather operations. Short's newest missile is the Star Streak, here mounted on the Aldous Stormer. The British system carries eight rounds ready to fire with 12 reloads. It is the newest and most advanced surface-to-air missile in the world. Starstreak accelerates to twice the speed of a bullet, and its unique feature is the three metal darts which spread out, holding formation until they hit the target. Starstreak can also be mounted on a helicopter. There is a lightweight naval launcher, and also a one-man version for firing from the shoulder. The three dense metal darts each have separate warheads, and they ride a guidance beam from a coated carbon dioxide laser. Another advanced technology system is ADATS. The name comes from Air Defense Anti-Tank System, and it's the first missile in the world designed to be equally good at destroying both types of target. is mounted on an M13 chassis. The unmanned turret carries two quad launch tubes, a surveillance radar, an infrared tracker, a TV, a laser rangefinder, and a laser guidance sensor. The operator detects targets on the display of the contra surveillance radar which can track up to 10 targets simultaneously. On detection of the target, it is handed off to a passive tracking system, either the TV or the thermal imaging infrared. <laughs> 